Hi everyone and welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. Hope everybody's doing good this morning. On our prayer request today, Taisha was released from the hospital but continued praying for her. Angel heard his foot at work. Pray that it gets feeling better soon. Pray for Steffi. She has a form of eczema and it's still in lots of pain. Uh, pray that it heals quickly. She's treating it. Pray for Dorothy. She needs to get out of her present living situation. Amber's doctor is going to try to get her off the ventilator some. She is starting to get better but has a long road ahead of her. She's still in the ICU for now until the doctors think she's ready to be on the floor. Pray for Mario. He was admitted in the hospital Friday. Uh, he has an infection and his calcium is low. Uh, Don is 95 years old and he fell and hurt himself. Pray that he'll be okay. That can be bad. Fall. It'd be bad for me probably even if I fall. I can't imagine. I hope he's okay. All right, our scripture of the day comes from Ezekiel 37, 4 through 14. Then he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. <clears throat> so I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked, and tendons and flesh appeared on them, and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to it, This is what the sovereign Lord says, Come breath from the four winds, and breathe into these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And breath entered them. They came to life and stood on their feet, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the people of Israel. They say our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, This is what the sovereign Lord says. My people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and bring you up from them, I will put my spirit in you and you will live and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken and I have done it, declares the Lord. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, our devotion today is entitled The God Who Restores. On November 4, 1966, a disastrous flood swept through Florence, Italy, submerging G Giorgio Vasari's renowned work of art, The Last Supper, under a pool of mud, water, and heating oil for more than 12 hours. With its paint softened and its wooden frame significantly damaged, many believe that the piece was beyond repair. However, after a tedious 50-year conservation effort, experts and volunteers were able to overcome monumental obstacles and restore the valuable painting. When the Babylonians conquered Israel, the people felt hopeless, surrounded by death and destruction, and in need of restoration. During this period of turmoil, God took the prophet Ezekiel to a valley and gave him a vision where he was surrounded by dry bones. Can these bones live? God asked. Ezekiel responded, Lord, you alone know. God then told him to prophesy over the bones so they might live again. As I was prophesying, Ezekiel recounted, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together. Through this vision, God revealed to Ezekiel that Israel's restoration could only come through him. When we feel as if things in life have been broken and are beyond repair, God assures us he can rebuild our shattered pieces. He'll give us new breath and new life. What's broken in your life? How might you rely on God to bring restoration? Dear God, 
Parts of my life seems like they'll never be restored. I've tried to fix them on my own, but my only hope of restoration is found in you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great morning. I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everybody, and God bless.